all it's Kelly here again and I have got something here that I've never done before I've not been much of a painter I've done a little bit here and there but I have decided to go big or go home I don't know which one but anyways we have a, a business here in our a small business here in our town and they do cut out wood cutouts and they also you can get together and with friends and family and get together and we do a little crafting project there they have all the supplies and everything my daughters and I did a string art uh, once before and we had a great time well with the virus and everything they're not having the the classes or the little get-togethers but they are selling the kits and I did buy one and I'm going to attempt to paint this and but let me show you what um, I'm talking about here's the pictures of what they what kind of look like this one is like a mason jar but it has um, some little flowers painted on it and it says hello so I bought one of those and then the second one is it's like a little round wooden um, shiplap and um, with we're welcome and then a little truck and it has like you would put um, velcro in the back of the truck and it comes with different little pieces that you can attach to it for different times of the year so I'm gonna attempt that's what I'm gonna attempt to paint it's called creative uh, canvas now when I bought the kit um, for the uh, the round shiplap circle with the welcome in the truck it was forty dollars and then of course I bought the the piece of wood for the flowers and they went ahead and drew out the flowers for me I don't know if you can see that this is upside down let me turn it around for you and they've uh, drawn out the flowers for me so that would be very helpful for me <laughs> Okay, so, but that's not what I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to be working on that shiplap. And in the kit, it comes with um, the Velcro. And um, for each one of the little signs that I purchased, they sent me a, like a burlap bow for each one of them. Okay, and... She, in these little tubs, she sent me all the paints that I could uh, need. So I've got two sets of paints here. Oops. Okay, so let me slide those off here. I don't want to turn them over. Oh, and some glue, too. That was nice of her. And there's my other thing of paint okay and then it comes with of course my big circle um, some oops, where'd it go? for my hanger um, I got a piece of like um, floor wire and then some twine here's my truck This is my piece for my help for fall or Halloween pumpkins, eggs, a tree for like Christmas, flowers, stars for like Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, and here's my big round piece. It's got two holes at the top and then my word welcome okay so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and paint my welcome I'm gonna paint it black and I'm going to start out by painting this white. And let me go ahead and do that. And I'm going to paint my truck. I'm going to go ahead and do it a green. 
I think that'll look good. So I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, track, the words, and my big circle. And I will come back and we'll kind of see if we can't um, do some little highlights and things on here. Okay, hi y'all, I'm back, and like I said, what I did here was I went ahead and painted it, painted it all white, um, just pure white, and but I didn't go heavy over the, the, the lines here with the, you know, for it to look like shiplap, so um, I'm just going to leave that showing pretty well. I have this brush that I've had for a while, it's a chip brush. I got it from Walmart, and I've had that for a while, and I'm going to use that, and so what I did is um, I have a paper plate, and I put a little bit of white paint on there, and I'm going to take a little bit of this brown and set it so I can kind of mix those two. We'll see how that does. I'm going to put the top back on here because otherwise I know all I will make a mess. Okay. Now, um, so, oh, and also, I didn't tell you this, but this kit also came with some brushes, um, some art brushes, so I'll have those to use also. Um, so now we're going to take and I mix this a little bit together, and I'm just going to dab my brush in the brown, and then a little bit in the white, and then kind of pounce it off. Maybe I need a little bit more white. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of sweep across here um, very lightly, uh, stir it out that way. So I'm go from one end and over to the other, and keep going straight across without stopping. Just a little bit more. And if you get too heavy, like you can always go back uh, with some more white. If you feel like you get too heavy in certain spots. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going back and forth. I'm not picking up my brush. to do is um, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a little bit more up in here at the top okay um, so I feel like that looks good if you wanted to um, you could take a little bit of black and just go kind of one step farther um, we'll try that and see what what happens <laughs> okay um, where's my spot little spoon. I'll just use this because I don't need much. Okay, I'm just going to get a little black. Okay. Get a little bit of my water. Put the tab top back on so I don't spill that. Okay. And see, I put a little bit of black in there. And I just want a tiny little bit. So... I'm going to try to get most of that off and just kind of add that in a little bit. I don't want very much. I just want to... Okay. I feel like 
think that's good. I don't want to get it too dark. Okay. So that's kind of okay. Um, let me wipe this off. I'm going to be all full of paint by the time I'm done with this. I know I will. All right. Now, now that I've got that piece done, I'm going to go over and get my truck. I'll let that dry. Okay. Now, here's my, my green truck, and I painted the wheels black. And... I'm going to um, kind of do a little bit to this. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a little bit of white. Let me move. I don't want any black in there, so let me, well, that's like it's, okay. Let me get a little thing for my, um, well, I'll just take my white paint, and I'm going to get a little bit on my chip brush. And... Then I'm going to wipe some of it off on a paper towel. And then very lightly, I'm going to go over this truck, the whole thing, just very lightly. Okay. All right, now I think that's plenty. Okay. Then, what I'm going to do make sure I put the top. Don't want to spill it. Okay. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I really want to keep this brush, so I'm going to try to take off some of that paint. What they call a well loved. Okay, so that doesn't dry like that. Okay, now what I want to do is add a little bit of highlights, and this is the way they taught me. Um, let's see, they gave me a brush, but I'm going to use this one. Whoops, and it's just kind of a point, it's kind of a tip on there, but it is a brush, as you see. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to take some white, and we're going to add a few highlights. So I'm going to get a little bit of that. Okay, and then we're just going to, I'm going to do this upside down so that you'll be able to see better. Okay, I didn't want so much, there we go. All right, and then we're just going to go and make a little headlight. And maybe down here. Along the back, uh, let's see, maybe, where else do we want to put a little, uh, maybe we can get a little bit more, and we'll put a little, I'm just kind of going to myself, y'all. Let's do a little bit. 
in it right here. And okay. Then what we want to do is take a little bit more and we're going to put like a little cub cap right here in the middle. our tire or our wheel put one over here. Hopefully I can make it the same size. <laughs> Let's see. Kind of do it start small and then work myself, work it up a little bit bigger and bigger. Try to make it okay. I think I better stop there. I don't want to get too crazy. Okay. All right, so that's where I'm going to stop on that because if I keep going, I'm going to make a mess. So um, as far as my first attempt, attempt, um, there is my truck. <laughs> All right, so let me put that over to dry. Okay, and then I think what we'll finish doing is I'm going to go ahead and just do a base um, paint on these these added pieces. And so let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my pieces painted with just the solid colors and now I want to do a little um, detailing that they've taught me so let's see if we can do that and uh, the first thing you want to do I'm going to take my brush I have a small brush and I'm just going to kind of do some highlights but for my pumpkin here I think what I want to do is I want to kind of darken this up a little bit so I have a little bit of orange still in in my bowl so I'm going to add a drop of the brown and mix that in just a drop okay okay so I've got that mixed up I'm mixing mixing that up a little bit I just had a call FaceTime for my granddaughter so had to talk to her. Um, it's probably a little more brown than I'm wanting, so let me put another drop of orange in there. Hopefully I can lighten it up just a smidge. So I don't want it too dark. Okay, there's my drop. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is I just want to kind of start from the bottom and drag it up, but I want to try it first. I'm just going to try it on a piece of paper. Okay, and I'm just going to start down here at the, where the, this right here on each one of these is kind of like the railing, which would be on the back of the truck, the pickup truck, and I'm just going to start there and just pull it up. I don't 
don't know if this is looks real real, but hopefully I'm gonna pull a little bit back more orange in there and pull it. that looks but I'll do it on this one as well okay a couple more Okay, um, I'm going to clean my brush a little bit and I want to blend that just a little bit. So let's try to do that. It won't hurt, I guess. I'm just going to try to blend that. Oops, I probably waited too long. Let me go ahead and try to... liking how I did that. Okay. Let's put, let me get my brush wet just a little bit. And hopefully that will help blend it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I just got my brush wet a little bit. And it kind of is helping kind of blend in that a little bit so whoops that was too much may have to dab that off a little bit Okay, it's not perfect, but that's kind of that kind of helped moved it a little around a little bit. So, anyways, that was kind of a. I need some clear water. Let me get this. Yeah, I think that was what I needed. Just to kind of okay yeah because it was just too drastic I'm just gonna try to put a little pressure on that to try to not make it such a drastic line okay All right, and let's see, I need a little bit down here. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Just so it's kind of matches with the top of the pumpkin. Okay, all right. That looks a little better. Okay, so that I'm gonna let that dry just a minute. And yes, I do like that better. Okay, now for like my eggs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I wanna cover that because I don't wanna spill that. I'm gonna take some white paint and let's see if this is still wet. Yeah, it is okay. So I've got some wet paint and I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to pull it up. And 
Okay, so I put those on my eggs and I wanted to fix this a little bit. See, I start fixing stuff and then I just make things worse. Okay, so I did that and she told me on the flowers if you can use the bottom of your brush you put that there and to make the dots and you can put some in the center of the flowers so we'll take pretty simple I'm not hadn't painted much in a while but I've been wanting to try this okay so I've got that and I think what I want to do is put a little bit of highlights too kind of on the flower I wonder if I should use a smaller I'm going to get a different brush, kind of like this, that's got a like a smaller tip on it, and maybe that will help me not get such a thicker line on it. Okay, so I'm going to just draw, yeah, that works so much better. Okay. All right, and let's do this flower. This actually is really fun. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, then um, we can take a little bit of the green, lighter green, and we can try this. I'm going to use this you could also take a little bit of your green that you were using and mix a little bit of white with it i'm just going to use this and maybe put a little bit of that on the leaves we'll try it okay i don't know i don't know The good thing about it, like she said, is that if you don't like it, you can always go back and um, paint back over it and redo it. So it's very forgiving. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and take my other brush and get some more white. And what I'll do is draw a line on some of these rails. Kind of makes it look kind of rustic. All right. And I feel like I've got too globby right there, so I'm going to it on through okay let's do a little, whoop, a little bit of brown and we'll just do it on all of them okay Annie's over here playing with her ball And this one, the tree. Okay, now, for the tree, well, I think what I want to do is, since I have the white, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of highlight on these pumpkins. Let's see if I can do that now. Okay, now 
now um let's see and on the tree on this on the christmas tree here uh we are going what she did is i'm gonna put that side just a minute i'll come back to that she took i uh, kind of took her brush and got a little bit of the white and put it on her um brush and kind of dabbed it off and we're just going to kind of because it'll be you would use this like at Christmas so when she just kind of pulled it across okay okay and then she did a little bit more highlight on that so let's do a little bit And then she kind of puts them on here so because you know in the if it was in a truck there would be a lot on the on the branches so okay so um i'm gonna do a little bit down here it's probably too much okay now so um and I'm going to do a little bit here because, of course, you would have some snow on that railing. Okay. All right. So those are done. Now, um, let me put that in there. Now, uh, for this, what she suggested and I thought looked really good, she took a little bit of um, gold. And... She did a little bit accent with the gold on the stars, which I thought was really pretty. Let me get a little bit out if it's not dried out. There we go. Okay. Just a little. All right. And let's rinse that brush. I'm going to get a thing here and put my this brush in it so it stays wet until I can clean it so I can use it again okay now I'm gonna get that brush out no I want this brush okay and uh, what she did with the gold and she just did some highlights I'll make sure it's not too much um, kind of Baby. That looks really cute. I just need just a smidge. I really don't want a lot. Okay, right here. Okay. little bit tip on that okay so um so I think that is going to be good enough like I said if you start doing too much you're going to regret it and I've done that because I kind of went back over my circle my platform and I started to tr think I was going to try to fix it and I ended up doing too much so let me move these out of the way and I'm gonna bring that back over move all this paint and okay here's my circle like I said I kind of started to go back over it if you can see here here at the top it sort of ended up sort of getting gray but I still like it and here's my welcome, okay, and my truck. And what you're going to do is you're going to put some of the Velcro here and then on each one of your pieces. And you will, for each season, do a Velcro in the different pieces. And so 
I think that's such a cute idea because you can use this up all year long. Use this all, all year long. And Christmas, you could put a tree. Oops. Uh, drawer full. Go ahead and put your pumpkin. All right. And for Fourth of July, Memorial Day, you can put your stars. So I think that's so cute, and I've really, really, really enjoyed doing this. Of course, um, you'll put your hanger, I mean, uh, you know, your wire to hang it up, and then I'm going to put this bow on it. So it's going to end up looking like this. Let me move this ink, I mean this paint so you can see it better. be my door hanger so I'm I enjoyed this so much so much more than I even thought I was going to of course I probably moved this down just a little bit and I love it and I had so so much fun making this so um anyways thank you for watching and if um I can link her Facebook down below if you want to kind of look at her stuff um, she does sell these kits, and I know she would love to hear from you, so let me go ahead and do that, and I hope y'all are safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the week.